This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we give you. We'll get this done. Hi guys, this is Adam again with Adrenaline and Socks coming at you with the video today. We're gonna to do a walk around on this custom job we did for a customer on a 2022 Canon Maverick X3 XRC RR model. Um, customer called in, uh, bought the unit, paid his deposit. Uh, unit showed up. We've done a few things for him. Nothing crazy. Just a real, I think it was like, it wasn't hardly anything, guys. I mean, it was about a half windshield. And I don't know, that's pretty much it. The customer then come in to pick the unit up, bought it, paid for it, and decided he wanted a, a cage and a full windshield and, you know, upper doors and then some whips. So the customer come in to pick his unit up and, you know, bought it, you know, got everything signed, sealed, and delivered, except the delivery part, he left the unit with us for us to make it more custom to what he wanted. And he was off from here. He's not a local guy, and I don't think he watched YouTube, so he didn't know about what we could do. He was just seen us, uh, I'm assuming, online on probably Facebook or something, called in, got his unit, and, and bought it. He probably thought we was like every other, you know, Jake Lake dealer and was going to do, you know, whatever to him and who do him. Once he come met us, the dude was super stoked, excited to see what we could do. And uh, immediately got with uh, Quentin Parts and, and jumped on, you know, really what I call a really nice build. Um, we'll start at the front. Like I said, he, he just, you know, the bumper stuff works for him. The, you know, the stock A arms and stuff what was, you know, he just wanted the look and wanted that custom cage. So we had some S3 cages in stock. Um, this is the only one we had in stock at the time that didn't have a rear bumper. So he opted for that one. And uh, then we went with one of our windshields again. Uh, this one we had to custom make because it wasn't designed to work with the S3 cage. So we had to cut on our windshield a little bit, but we made it work. You know, the, like I said, the guy is super cool. We wanted to help him out, give him this custom look. Uh, and the S3 cages, you know, I run them on my 18 I had and, and never had an issue and I run the upper doors So I know we could use the upper doors uh, in conjunction with it So the customer was super excited about that and we done that we made it happen here As you can see, you know, we got the you know, the roof that come with it We had to trim it up shorten it up some and make it work there Um you know, a little bit of a gap here, which we sealed up nice with the, the, you know, the thick foam. The door lays on the cage really nice and functions. You know, he went, opted for the door handles. And if you're doing the upper doors, guys, it really is just, just get this door handle set up because I've had it the other way and reaching in through here, cause this is going to be covered in mud. And when you reach in and through, when you're out riding, it just makes it it just gets your hand really dirty and makes a mess and there's tons of noise in the background i guess we're selling some units sounds like so um but you know i i don't like this as as much as i mean this is super nice i mean it's just it's just it's just what you need to do to, to have the the best look and the best function all in all and as you see on the inside uh he doesn't have anything real extravagant um we got a CB down in the, the lower compartment under the start switch. And then we did do a, a soft rear window for the customer to, you know, help enclose the, the cab as much as we could. Um, and which works out pretty good. I mean, it's got some, you know, slack in it, but um, it's not super, super horrible, um, and, and it will function and do what he wants it to do, which is, you know, get it the enclosed look. Um, we did go with the infinite off-road. Um, I believe these are three foot whips here, and they're the ones that do all the colors and jump around and, and everything else on that, um, you know, which works out really, really good. Uh, pretty, you know, straightforward on the back. It's got the, you know, the new updated pull plate with the extra bolts in, in the top there. It's got the, you know, the double shear middle radius rod stuff. So, you know, he kept it all stock. He's, you know, 
pretty firm believer that you know it'll hold together and he won't have any issues um, and whatnot so but the cage as you can see on the front looking at this machine it changes the whole look and dynamic of it and, and looks really really good and like i said with the windshield cut you know made made to work and then the roof cut made to work i mean it's maximum you know point of view or sight that you can get with like the low profile look because the cage is two inches shorter than the stock so um, we had to massage it a little bit like i said again you know from the other videos where i was talking about the guys in the back you know doing some welding stuff to you know on this frame here we um you know we cut it down we had to massage it uh, i think we were using plasma cutter on it and then uh welded custom tabs on here like i said we made the upper door mouths work with the uh, s3 cage and to make that work we had to weld on the front tab and move the rear tab up to work with that and it goes on there and looks good and works good and I mean, ultimately, it's it's super, super nice, and the guy can still take his doors off, take the mount off, and have a super slick look. Um, and then we had our, you know, our local guy do all the powder coating on this stuff, and, you know, he just went with the Can-Am Red on the cage, black roof, black windshield, and looks really, really good. So if you guys is wanting a buggy out there, and you're wanting something specific, and... Uh, you can't get no other dealer to tell you yeah man give us a call comment down below um, if you have any questions on anything on here um, i will do a disclaimer last i talked to uh, dustin at s3 i don't think they were shipping cages out right now um, due to the extravagant rate on shipping so you might not be able to get the cage from s3 direct um, and that that might be a problem. That's what he said. That's the last I heard in the loop um, on that. So be aware of that. If you go on there, the price on the cage does not include shipping or freight. And like I said, with the way things are, freight is through the roof right now. But uh, we did have a few in stock. And like I said, the customer opted for the one without the rear bumpers. Uh, we're going to have a build or two coming with the rear bumpers. We got uh, another pretty, well, really big build coming in the near future and uh, we'll have some more walk arounds on some other units guys as always be safe on the trail and hit that like and subscribe down below and we'll catch you guys later This is a, a bumper we have made. Style hose, the part number we'll get this done.